My name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Right now, we are in the process of solving some problems having to do with conversions of decimals to fractions. There are three concepts that you can encounter on the exams that are interrelated decimal, percentages and fractions. There are ten problems here on this, in, in, the, in the sample problem that we, that we will do uh, tomorrow. And if you feel that those ten questions plus the four examples that we do today, uh, four examples that you see on page number 25 is what we are about to do right now, plus the ten, ex ten sample, sample exercises that they give you on the next page. If you feel that that's not enough and if you need more practice, there are some more videos you can watch. Just type in basic math in the series of basic math from day number 51 through 65. There are 15 videos all dealing with the notion of percentages, fractions and decimals converting one to the other and back and forth. Let's keep going. Number one. These are examples. These are, these are as I said, four examples on page number 25. Number one. Example number one. 0.9. We're being asked to convert this into, into, into fractions from decimals to fractions to 0.9 if you were to multiply top and bottom by 10 0.9 times 10 is just 9 and this 0.1 actually has a 1 at the bottom and 1 times 10 is 10 so 0.9 is 9 10 of course of course no big news there the next one we have is 0 0.02 0 0.02 here we need to move the two decimal places 1 and 2 we need to move the decimal places two spots in order for us to be able to move the decimal place two spots, we need to multiply that by, th uh, by 100. Multiply top by 100, multiply bottom by 100. In the bottom, remember, if there is nothing at the bottom, that means there is 1 at the bottom. And now, if we multiply 0 0.02, 0 0.02 by 100, we'll be able to move the decimal spot. Oh, what the hell is the matter with this thing? Just give me a second. I'm still here. I had to get rid of it because I keep picking it up. Okay, here we go. One and two. We move it two spots and now the decimal will end up here and it becomes two. Point zero, in other words, point zero two times hundred is two and one times hundred is a hundred. And then we can leave it like this because two and a hundred have a common factor of two. So we need to reduce it, we need to simplify it. Let's divide top and bottom by two. We divide top by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 100 divided by 2 is 50. So the final answer is 1 over 1 over 50. 1 over 50, 1 50. Yeah. Point zero 0.02, point zero 0.02 is equal to 1 50. Yeah. Number 3. Number 3 is point two five. Uh, the simple straightforward one. Again, we have two decimal places, one and two. We need to move the decimals here. We need to move it two spots. So we need to multiply by 100. Multiply top and bottom by 100. Point zero, point, point two, point two five over 1. Multiply top and bottom by 100. And 0.25 becomes 25 over 100. 1 times 100. And of course, 25 over 100, of course, is 1 fourth. Because if I divide top and bottom by 25, 25 has 125 and 100 has 425. Which again was a very silly thing because of course everybody knows, everybody knows that a quarter is 0.25. A quarter of something is 0.25 or 25% there. No big news. Do you understand? Let's go to number 3. That was number three. Let's go to number four. In number four, we have three point three point zero five five three point zero five five. So the thing to do here is to not worry about the three. Let's keep the three. Let's keep the three in abeyance. Let's keep the three in abeyance. Let's just worry about point, point 0.55. 0. 
zero five five. And when you look at this way, it's apparent. It's, it's it's very obvious now that we need to move the decimal three places from here to three places. One, two, three. It has to come over here. So if we have to if if you have to move the decimal place three spots, we need to take that point point zero five five and multiply it by a thousand. Now if you're going to multiply the top by thousand, we must multiply the bottom by thousand. Otherwise, otherwise we will have changed the value of the given quantity. We can't do that. Now it's okay because thousand over thousand is just one. And here we have point zero five point zero five five. We can write that as point zero five five over one. So here we go, we have a fraction here, we multiply the top by a thousand, we multiply the bottom by a thousand, now point zero five five times a thousand, we will move the decimal spots three places, one, two, three, it will end up here, which means it becomes fifty-five. It becomes fifty-five. So we end up at fifty-five over one times a thousand, which is one thousand. We can't leave it like this, we need to reduce it. In order for us to reduce it, it will make it easier, it will make it easier. If we write 1000, at the bottom we have 1000, let's not write 1000 as 1000, let's write 1000 as 100 times 10. 100 times 10 is still 1000. Now, now it makes it easier for us to reduce. The common factor between the top and the bottom is a 5. 5 is a common factor. Let's divide top and bottom by 5. 55 divided by 5 is going to be 11 because 5 has 111 and 5, 5 has 1 5 and this 5 has 1 5. And 10 has two fives. There you go. So we end up with two, or rather, we end up with 11. We end up with 11 times, and the bottom we end up with 100 times two. 11 over, 11 over 100 times two, which is 200, which is same as 0 0.055. There we go. I'll see you tomorrow where we'll do the sample problems that you see there on the next page, page number 26. I don't want to start anything on the next page right now. We'll do the sample problems tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.